Is this you? Well, maybe not quite like that. But if you've got a soldering iron stand that's like this, it's often prone to falling over, which is a bit dangerous. Sure, you can weigh it down. Or clamp it in place. But I'm sure we can do something better than that. This is Azel's TV. Let's make something. Now I can make a weighted stand for that and stop it from tipping over. And that would be it, but it's not a very exciting video is it if I do that. So I thought I would make an all-in-one thing. I've got the soldering iron stand, I've got things like the desolder pump, flux pen, I've got spare tips, different sizes, I've got the flux tip cleaner, desolder braid and the solder itself. So I thought I'd make something to combine all of these in, into one little package if you like. So I thought that could go there, that there, that in a little slot in there, that will be on a little stand so I could take off solder as needed and it would thread for a little thing to give just the right tension so I could pull some off and solder onto projects and I wouldn't have to pick up the reel or do anything else with it so that would be there, that would be there I'd have that down there, the tips up here somewhere in a little thing and nothing staying where I put it so let's <laughs> right but you know just like, like that so Something about that big, that sort of size. That'll give it a lot more weight, plus it'll have all this together, all in one little, all in one place. So I could have got the whole lot and take it outside if I'm soldering outside, or the kitchen if I need more light or whatever else. So I've got this bit of plywood from the hardware store down the road. And he gave me that, because it's an offcut. He said, it's yours. Fantastic. And it's got quite a bit of weight to it. As you can see, I'm going to cut that in half, and that should be more than enough for this. Here we go, I've got it laid out just how I want. That was actually quite a nice size, just half a little bit of wood. So, soldering iron stand, I've got tip cleaner here, soldered this sucker, flux pen, spare tips, salt desoldering braid, and the solder itself. If I'm careful at turning this round, I've got everything to held down with blue tack that holiest of holies so that's quite a nice little station I'm gonna make a little stand that comes up from there little bracket and it'll go through into there hold the solder in place and the rest of it I'll make out of plywood I've got lots of scrap bits of plywood so I'll make bits like that little compartments and things for things to slot into here I'll do something to hold them in place I'm just making it as I go along, no plans, I'm just putting bits together until I've got something that looks good. Alright, let's start cutting some wood and gluing some bits and pieces and then we'll come back here and see what I've done. Right, lots to do, let's get into it. First of all, I've made this base to surround the soldering iron stand. And it's taken a while because uh, <laughs> I got a boo-boo, but there you go. You suffer for your art, don't you? But I've cut this out. This is slightly higher than the height of this this plywood. So I'm going to make a thing to go across like that, and that will stop, it, stop this from pulling out. And it will, on that side as well, stops it with, with wobbling. But you can pick it up like that and slide it out, and there's enough play in the gap under there to allow you to just lift it slightly enough to pull it out. So I'm going to cut this out and it'll go over there like that, kind of holding the out glue in place and I'm going to cut some bits that go across there like that to hide this joint and make it look a bit nicer. So that'll be the first job. And we're back and I've got the worst sanding job I've ever done. And I've not done that at all well and have a look at it it's, uh, it's not great but I can tidy it up later on when I've got it all glued in place 
Here we go, look. Nice. I might round off these corners and then I'll glue it in place and on to the next bit. That fits alright. I'm just trying it all different angles and shifting it and everything else to make sure it does fit properly. Superb. Yep. Wicked. While that's gluing, and that's working really well, I'm gluing it with this in place. So if there's any glue squeeze out, it won't form a bead inside in there where I can't get to it that will stop this from sliding in. So if I leave it in like that, it will go around this. And the worst it will do is just make this slightly sticky. But I can pull this out when the glue is dried because the glue won't stick to this. So it'll, it'll act almost like a mould. So that'll be right. Okay, on to the next bit. I've made this to hold the solder in. That'll screw it. I, I'm going to screw it from underneath so I can take the thing apart and I can adjust bits if need be. Also, if I need to work on it, I've got this sticking out otherwise, whereas this, I can like, take this off and I've got a relatively flat part. So this is going to screw in. I'm going to put... I mean, just the solder goes in there like that. I'm going to put a screw in the end. How? I'm going to drill a hole and that drop in place so this doesn't, this doesn't slide off and I'm going to make a dispenser I'm going to make an arm that comes out probably like from the front with this spring set into it so that the solder will thread through let me see if I'll do this here there we go that was set in place like that and I've got a little Ooh. see what I mean about the solder falling off this is fiddly, <laughs> so that will hold like that, and then I can pull that out and get solder. Slight change of plan. I've put a screw in, and that stops the solder almost from falling off. I mean, enough that it's not going to fall off in use anyway. But instead of screwing up from underneath, because that's going to be a pain to try and line up the holes and everything else, and I get all the holes straight, I'm going to glue this onto the bottom drill some holes in there, clean up these edges and round off the corners and everything else and just screw from the top instead. So I can work out where to put that after and then screw it in place. That's a lot better. And then I'll work out where to put the arm on this to feed the solder through so I can pull it out while I'm working. That's all glued together. But before I show you that, I'll show you. I've sunk some brass threaded inserts into here so this will fit on the top. So that's good, right? So I've got that's glued in place. I've added that, drilled the holes, and I've added this arm here to the side so the solder wraps around this way and it comes up under this spring thread through there. Gives it a nice bit of tension, just a slight amount. So this goes through there, first of all, that goes on there, and then you just Pull off what you need, and this it keeps it in tension. I can actually pull out quite a lot before it starts to fall down. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, so that works well. Right, the next thing will be to put the holder for the flux pen and the desolder pump. So I'm going to cut out some bits of wood that like that, that shape. One will go down there. I want to sit higher up on this tube. That should be this way around. So that'll go like that. Flux goes there. This will sit in there, and then there'll be another one of these figure eight sections coming out across here. Right to here. Well, that was a pain in the arse to uh, cut out. I've only got a very, very fine blade for my jeweler's saw, I can't find the other blades, so it takes a long time to cut everything out. It's not perfect, I've had to use this resin block to shim the height of that, and these mirrors, so it's just the right height. And then, flux pen goes in there, desolder pump goes in there, and then, let's get these out of the way. solder goes 
So next job is to put, or to build a little stand for these to go on the spare tips. And they will sit down there like that. I'm going to make space for three tips. And also that needs to go here somewhere. And that needs to go there. Right, let's get cracking with more making. Here's what I'm going to be up to. I've got that cut to length. I've dotted some holes for drilling. I'm going to mount these springs in these three holes. And these solder iron tips will just slip over the top like that. Got three. And these two will be drilled for mounting to the board. And I'll round off these corners. Okay, now this is interesting because I put these bits in here and they're just uh, they're falling over all over the place. So I'm gonna have to glue these in place. I mean, look, look, and hold them all upright and all level. So first wise, get a bit of epoxy on here. And that and there, right, and then the next thing. And it's doing this without anything really sticking. That's the fun part. So that'll hold those in place. Then the glue's almost dry, but it's, it's still it's still separable. I can pull those bricks apart and take this off the glass and it'll all still be upright. Hopefully that's the plan. Whether it'll work or not is another matter entirely. It could be an abominable fail. I guess we'll see. I'll give it a couple of hours or so and uh, check on it. Okay, while that was gluing, I made some extra parts. I made this, the curved bit for the tip cleaners to go in, and the stand for the desolder braid, which needs to be glued in place. And then I found the proper blade for the saw as soon as I finished, so brilliant. I could have done it in about five minutes, the actual sawing, had I found the blade sooner, but there you go. That's why I've not shown any sawing in the video, because half the project has just been me just <coughs> sawing. Brilliant. Oh well, I've got it for next time. I'll just put it somewhere safe this time. So this glues here. That sits in there, then all the other parts go in like that so next for well, next job I'm gonna glue that in place and then I'm gonna sort out if this is glued properly hopefully hope it's not stuck to the Lego bricks or the glass plate that it sat on or anything else because that wouldn't be very good it is glued very nice very musical boing, 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 boing. Right, it's glued in place. It's a very thin bond because it's only the width of this aluminium. So I'm worried, about, I'm worried about this coming out over time, especially if I put hot soldering iron tips on it. So I'm going to cut some collars to put over this to act as like little um, like fillets, if you like, around the, the bottom zilly springs to hold it in place. I'm going to cut that from this part of an old VCR that I pulled apart some time ago. I'm going to cut this off and cut this into three bits, throw this over here. The trouble is, of course, 
never quite works out things like this does it doesn't fit the hole is just fractionally too small for the springs to go inside so I'm going to bore this out with a just drill it out to size using the same drill bit I used for the bottoms of these then cut it off and cut it into three file it all smooth with anything else then throw it over there and glue it in place so that's the next thing to do then I can put it on a stand and it's almost finished yay oh that was fun to drill like shearing a pig lots of squealing not much wool it's gone in the right come at the other end right cockeyed but she'll do fits over smooth yay I've had to use the old WD-40 so I've got to cut this into bits then degrease it so it can glue on the springs otherwise it ain't going to stick to anything all right it is glued and it is looking good so we've got the collars glued in place looking very nice it's a lot more sturdy and these go on top like that let's screw that in place on the rest of the stand So that's it done. Let's go and try this out, shall we? So it's gone from this to this. Much better. This is in here nice and solid. I mean, this isn't going to go anywhere. Look, I've put rubber feet on the bottom. Holds everything nice and firm. We've got everything we need for soldering. I was even able to do some scrolls to work and add my logo to it nice bit of branding that was my soldering station project if you like that give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to hit that big subscribe button i'll put out a new video every tuesday leave a comment down below and share on social media stay tuned for more i will catch you next time